What's up everybody and welcome back to another tutorial. During this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can extend the static mirror that we created during the last tutorial and make it feel a bit more dynamic. So in the previous tutorial we've made a mirror that was essentially rendering whatever it was in front of it without actually taking into account the rotation of the camera. And now we're going to be extending that to get this result as you can see here so you can see that wherever I'm rotating the camera you can see the actual mirror also corresponding to my rotations so I'll be showing you how we're going to be doing that and for this we have you can remember we have uh, the mirror which is just a plane essentially and then we have camera which is rendering onto a render texture and using the render texture we're going uh, we're attaching it to the plane and rendering essentially whatever the camera is rendering onto the plane and we are going to be using a mirror script that you can see here which is attached to the camera to be rotating the camera corresponding to wherever the player is so we're going to be responding to whatever rotation there is going to be uh, from the camera of the player and this is the script it's a very simple script and I'll be explaining what this script is doing so we have two variables one is the transform of the player camera and we're going to be using this to get the rotation and you can see that in the start function we are actually finding the camera through its tag and then getting the component of the transform then we have the offset so this offset is of type vector 3 and it's essentially the difference between the starting rotation of this camera so the mirrors camera minus the no sorry the a rotation of the player minus the rotation of this camera so we're getting the offset between these two and whatever uh, the starting difference is so in our case I think the camera of the player has 0 on the Y 0 on the Z and about 9 on the X uh, degrees and for the camera of the mirror we have 180 minus for the X and Z and this will be essentially um, about 170 on the um, X and about uh, the Z will be remain the same so this will be the offset we're going to be using that to be offsetting our uh, rotation because if we didn't it will look weird and not get the result that we want so in our update function you, you don't have to actually update it uh, in each frame but I'll just be doing it for simplicity's sake we are going to be uh, creating a variable of quaternion which is the way unity uses to rotate things around and we're going to be using the Euler system so the Euler system is uh, the system you, have, you can see here and it's uh, from 0 up to uh, 360 degrees you can think of uh, and we're going to be essentially translating the Euler into quaternion and what, what we're doing here we are getting the uh, Euler angles of the camera of the player minus the offset multiplied by minus one and this will essentially uh, flip the camera uh, of the player and I'll be showing you what I mean now and then just overwrite the uh, rotation of our mirror camera so what we're doing here if you can see the camera is actually looking towards this direction uh, and we want the camera of the mirror to be facing the other direction because if it did face the same direction that will not look as you would expect so it will look something like that and it will be facing the wall that is not what we want that is why we are multiplying it by minus one so whatever this camera is looking it will look on the opposite way this is the uh, result I'll just be showing you one more time of what we're going to be expecting and so looking around you can see that the camera is looking the opposite way of the player camera and that is exactly what we want and uh, yeah this is the result i hope you found this tutorial useful if you did make sure to subscribe thank you for watching and goodbye